Hi, Virgo. So we're going to go ahead and see what's going on with you guys. So let's see what's going on. Okay. We got two here. So we have the five of swords. This could be some kind of a stress conflict. And then we have the king of swords reversed. There's some kind of truth that's hidden here. Something's not seen, being seen clearly and it's causing this like conflict and stress and, you know, worry. Let's go ahead and say, what about the person you're dealing with? Person you're dealing with, Virgo. Person you're dealing with, we got a couple here. Okay, so they are, like, it looks like they're kind of starting towards some kind of clarity here, like what they want to do, what they're inspired about, as well as something that they were trying to manifest in their material world. They're starting this new beginning because they want to get to this Nine of Pentacles, which is that um, happiness, abundance, you know, um, being independent, being successful. That's what they're trying for. They have a lot of uh, pentacles and swords. They're getting clarity on what they want to manifest um, to be successful and and uh, independent and successfully independent. But but whatever it is, though, it's come some kind of no clarity here and causing a lot of conflict and stress. Hmm. Let's see. Something's not clear. Oh, we got one more for them. Yeah. Some kind of like toxic behavior um, with this. It could even be like an addiction with this person. Um, and it's causing some kind of like unclarity and stress and conflict. Hmm. All right, let's see what your energy is. Yeah, you're kind of just going within and like sticking up for what you believe in. Trusting, you know, tapping into your into your spirituality, trusting your intuition, listening to that. Let's see if there's anything else for you of what to do. Oh uh, yeah, look, but you still don't feel in your power. You're, you're emperor reversed. You're feel, feeling disempowered by this situation or this person, and that's probably why you're having this here. Yeah, whatever they're trying to pursue, there's some kind of toxic energy around it. Our pattern of behavior. Let's see the two of you together. Two of you together here. Yeah, a lot of stress and worry and anxiety. There's something that this person is trying to pursue that might have some kind of toxic energy around it. Um, they're trying to get, get successful. It could be something illegal. It might be not legal that they're trying to do to get successful or or you know just not reality like you know get rich quick scheme or something it's causing a lot of conflict and unclarity in in your relationship it's leaving you feeling disempowered and you're kind of just relying on your spirituality and tapping into your intuition kind of going with the flow but it is causing a lot of stress and worry here let's see if there's any other energy around this relationship or situation besides stress and worry and fear yeah a lot of burden as well yeah Whatever this is, it's causing a lot of burden. Some kind of way this person's going about something. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's the possible outcome. Okay, well, we have the Queen of Wands reverse. So if this continues, you guys are just going to lose the kind of confidence. Um, yeah, because Queen of Wands when she's upright is usually somebody that's confident goes after what they want charismatic but if it's reversed it's kind of like yeah you just don't have any confidence in the situation anymore you know all right let's see what else what else good possible outcome you know kind of losing that not feeling strong to continue yeah, so the page, page of Cups is like some kind of a message about like emotional fulfilling or like go, going towards something that you are that will emotionally ful, ful, fulfill you. Um, this is the possibility, as well as the Seven of Cups. This is kind of uh, some opportunity coming in. It also could be some kind of choice, or it could be just like living in this fantasy world. So I'm really getting like maybe if they continue down this path or living maybe. They're more living in their dreams and fantasy. It's not like reality based on reality. 
and you might take some other opportunity to go towards what you're you're passionate or not passionate but creative and that will emotionally fulfill you because you're just not feeling empowered by this this is just keeping you um not feeling confident about the whole situation or relationship or something let's get one more on possible outcome yeah so there's going to be some healing some ba healing and balance Either way, whether you walk away or stick with it or this person comes to their senses. All right, so let's go ahead and get some advice. But whatever it is, they're pursuing something that's just keeping you kind of in, disempowered, really kind of stressed, not clear what to do. So advice, let the wheel turn, you know, just kind of do you. Um, if you need to step away, let us step away. You know, don't try to stop this wheel from moving. Um, if they come to their senses, you might have to give them some space for a while, whatever it is, if it's something that's not resonating with you. Um, let's see what else is possible advice. Possible advice, yeah, again, just get that balance back because whatever they're doing is keeping you off balance. Step into your, you know, spirituality of what you know was right four swords is like taking a step back and resting you might have to step back from this person for a while until they figure something out and get your own clarity so you're not sitting in that stress and anxiety and things any more advice knight of wands yeah go towards something that you're passionate about right now do you kind of do you let them kind of figure out whatever they're doing um you know, if it's not aligning with you and your integrity and your and your morals and stuff, whatever they're trying to do, if it's something illegal they're trying to do to make money or something, it might you might need to just step away. Because, you know, your uh, health mentally and emotionally and spiritually is best. You don't want to get yourself into any kind of legal situation. Um, you don't want to take on all that burden and stress and fear and all that. So it might be time for you to just go towards something you're passionate about and step away from this person for a while. So that's your message, Virgo. Take care. Bye.